Let's not make it one of those weekends. What do you mean, one of those weekends? I just don't want you guys to get how you get. How do we get? Uh, at each other's throats, the battle of wills, the famous Ginny and Margie saga from pretty much every family vacation. There's no Ginny and Margie saga. Oh. It's really Margie who acts like a child and tries to make me crazy. It's really the Margie saga. Oh, that is so not true. Oh, okay, how about that time that we went to Gettysburg and you told that boy that Ginny stuffs her bra? That's how we knew. <laughs> Thank you, Anne. <laughs> Dress. Yeah. To work. So? So? Just tell me this. You getting all dressed up for the deli meat or the man meat? I want to look nice for the customers. Oh, sure. Why hasn't he fixed that? Come on, guys. we got to get downstairs. Why are you putting on mascara? For Marco. Margie! What? Why are you getting dressed up for Marco? Oh, come on. Didn't you see them together yesterday? She was glowing. I was not glowing. Yes, you were. And you know what? I haven't seen you smile like that since Danny. Have I really been that much of a downer? You know, it's so not a bad thing, enjoying a little harmless male attention. Especially after a breakup. I say you go for it. I, for one, think it's a bad idea. There's no idea here. She's going to flirt with him a little bit. All right, come here. What are you doing? Vanilla extract. It's my secret weapon. You guys love it. It reminds them of their mommies. That is so twisted. Come on. It's not like I'm giving you a Chilean. Margie, what are you doing? I'm working the register. I like to push the buttons. Everybody likes to push the buttons. That's why it's the best job. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm doing it. No, you're not. Oh, well, I know what this is about. I didn't take the money, Jenny. Oh, Margie, that was 10 years ago. Everybody thinks that I took the money, but why would I steal $150 the day I was working the register? That's, that's stupid. It makes no sense. Margie, look, it's not that you're not good with money. You're not good with people. Rose, come on, you're doing the register. Yay. I get to push the button. You can make the platter. I don't want to make the platter. Who put you in charge? The universe. When I was cursed with organization, discipline, and take charge attitude. Besides, no one was even listening when Dad gave us instructions last night. Yes, I was. Okay, you're in charge. Name three things he told us to do today. I'll make the platters. Ha. Oh. Yay. Thank you. What are you doing? You're supposed to make the platters like an hour ago, Margie. Come on, you have to start pulling your weight. Or else? Just do it. No, seriously, I really want to know what you're going to do to me if I don't follow your little orders. I'm not going to engage in this with you. We should just all act like grown-ups. Well, you know, it's a little hard to act like a grown-up when you insist upon treating me like a child. OK, you know what? You want to act like a lazy little brat? Go right ahead. I'll make the platters. Mmm, that's so sweet. Thank you, Ginny. <sighs> Now, we came out here to relive old times, right? But I just realized that the old times suck. This weekend sucks. I'm gonna invite some people over tonight. No, you're not. Excuse me? You're not having a party, Margie. Uh, I didn't say party. I said I was gonna invite some people over. But you know what? Now that you mention it, that is an excellent idea. Why didn't I think about that? Yes, we are going to have a party. No, we won't. Well, like a Halloween party? <gasps> You'd be like with a haunted house and costumes? No. Like, uh, Dad's out of town and Ginny doesn't want to have a party. Party. Yeah, I've been to that party. It doesn't end well. You get drunk and wind up running down the street naked. I wasn't drunk. <laughs> what? Come on, go. Alert. Show them your A-game. Hey, Marco. Hey, pretty good at that. Mm, thanks, I kind of had. <laughs> better get working on the sausage, huh? <laughs> God, I do love your sausage. <laughs> no, I mean how it tastes. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go back there once you uh, work on this. <laughs> Oh, my God, you suck at flirting. Take your time. All right. Bye. Bye.
It's funnier and funnier. I know. Did you eat a donut? A vanilla extract. I... Oh, hey, Margie. We've taken in about 150 today. You interested? <laughs> That'd be so funny, Rose, if I had actually taken the money. Go. Flirt with him. Um, I think I made a big enough fool of myself. Thank you. Hey, Marco. Anne will help you. Go on. So who do you see? Anyone from high school still come in? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Joanna Frankel. She comes in once in a while. Uh -huh. uh, oh, yeah. Evan Price. He came in last month. Anyway, you know, he's, uh, he's divorced now. He lives in the Upper West Side. Yeah, he's looking pretty miserable, too, you know? Overwork, lost. Yeah, he comes into the deli, sees me standing behind the counter. You know, he actually looks at me like he felt sorry for me. Like, uh, like he got out, you know, when I didn't. <laughs> like I'm just this, uh, sausage guy. That sucks. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Truth is, I actually feel sorry for him, you know? Because, I mean, I'm happy, you know? I know who I am, but I've got a pretty cool life, you know what I mean? <laughs> just because I'm not a podiatrist. No, you're not. Oh, I don't think I'm doing this right. Well, let me see. Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're doing it wrong. Uh, I'm sorry. I suck. No, no, no look, look. Yeah. Maybe it's just be a little less uh, you know, forceful. <laughs> All right, look. You grab it right here. Put it in your hand. Okay, now you grab it firmly, but gently. <laughs> oh, that's much better. Yeah. yeah. Hold it right here. Good. Can you just give it a little twist? Yeah, a little more. Good, good, that's better. Good. Yeah, that feels better. Mmm, it smells pretty good. What's that? Like pound cake. <laughs> Thanks. Look, okay, um, <clears throat> I'm sorry. <laughs> No, on second thought. Of course I'm gonna have a chocolate fountain. I'm gonna throw a party without a chocolate fountain. All right, bye. Just made out. Well, it must have been some pretty good making out because that right there, that's sex hair. Thank you. Come again. Thank you. Bye-bye. Well, I'm so glad we could share that moment with Mrs. Gillespie. What was he like? Is he a kisser or what? Yeah. Yeah. I forgot how much I like kissing. You know, when you guys were just talking about some flirting, that was fine. But what do you think you're doing here? She's just having a little fun. Come on, it's harmless. Yeah, except it's not harmless. It's Marco. And he's gonna lure her into bed and then break her heart. He's the king of flings. Oh, so why can't she have a flick? Why? Because this is Anne we're talking about, Margie. She is constitutionally incapable of having a fling. She craves long-term relationships. May I weigh in? If you must. Guys, I'm just having fun here. And Marco is not just the king of flings. He's actually really deep. I mean, it might not look like it to look at him, but he's got thoughts and feelings and stuff. <sighs> Man, do you miss the point of meaningless sex? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you ordered the Joel? Hey, what took you so long? Hey, be nice. It took me like six trains, two buses, and a ferry to get here. A ferry? Was there a quicker way? <laughs> right now in bio, we're talking about RNA. Oh, right, which is made from DNA. And that happens when an enzyme called RNA polymerase catalyzes a synthesis by binding to a special promoter region on the DNA helix. OK, how do you know that? I got bored last year, and I read ahead. Wow, and it just stuck in your head like that? I guess. 
Isn't that weird? 